Revenge might be a dish best served cold, but these films all delivered red-hot justice. Whether it was an entire film's worth of elaborate plotting and execution, or a single moment of sweet revenge, here are some of the greatest acts of revenge in movies ever. The Gift Joel Edgerton made his big-screen directorial debut with 2015's The Gift, where he plays Gordo, a seemingly sad sack who runs into an old high school acquaintance named Simon, played by Jason Bateman. Gordo turns into something of an unwanted shadow for the man and his wife Robin, but eventually, Gordo's kookiness becomes more worrisome than weird. As Simon's secrets come to light, Gordo steps up his psyche-unraveling campaign of terror, including sending Simon disturbing footage of his wife being drugged by Gordo nine months before the birth of her baby. In retaliation for a casual act of cruelty that caused Gordo unfathomable pain, he makes Simon question whether or not his child is actually even his. Now that's what you call a mind game. The Help The Help from 2011 is set in the middle of Mississippi during the Civil Rights Movement. Octavia Spencer plays Minnie, the long-suffering maid to the horrible Hilly, a self-declared moral authority who leads the community charge to segregate in-home bathrooms. Minnie is fired for using the guest restroom rather than brave a storm to access the outhouse facilities. But she makes Hilly eat her words by cooking her a chocolate pie that contains a new special ingredient. Minnie's, well, poop. It sounds foul, but it's actually quite a delicious moment to watch as Hilly's brain catches up with her ears and understands what she's been told about the dessert she's still ravenously chowing down. Inglorious Bastards Vigilante justice is an essential element in many of Quentin Tarantino's movies, but Inglorious Bastards tops Tarantino's catalog of excellent revenge moments. It's a blood-soaked take on World War II-style vengeance against some of history's most reprehensible villains. From Shoshana's orchestrated torching of the Fuhrer <laughs> to Donnie Bear Jew Donowitz's merciless beatdown of a remorseless SS officer to Lieutenant Aldo Rain carving a swastika into Hans Landa's forehead, Bastards dispenses justice in ways that only make the intense violence that much more entertaining. Wanted. It's a scene that makes Jerry Maguire's office exit speech seem like a note with a smiley face left on the company fridge. In Wanted, Wesley politely announces his departure from the corporate world. Some loser gets his head blown off of the Metropolitan. SHUT THE F*** UP! And heads for the exit with his ripped out computer keyboard in hand. His buddy and co-worker Barry, who's befuddled by what Wesley just said to their boss, goes for the high five and gets a corny to the face instead. Appropriate, since Barry had been sleeping with Wesley's girlfriend. Wesley doubles down on his vengeance by making out with a badass beauty Fox, played by Angelina Jolie, right in front of her. Man on Fire In the 2004 action drama Man on Fire, a retired CIA operative named John Creasy, played by Denzel Washington, takes a gig as the bodyguard slash babysitter of a nine-year-old girl named Peta, but comes to find that the job entails a lot more than mere child's play. When Peta is kidnapped, Creasy gets to work finding and systematically slaughtering her captors. In the movie's most memorable revenge scene, Creasy ties a potential kidnapper down to a car and, well... C4. Highly explosive. You put them all together, you got a bomb. Not very sophisticated, but very powerful. That's what you have in your ass right now. The perp spills the beans, but Creasy is unforgiving. Never mess with Denzel. Road to Perdition This Depression-era drama, Road to Perdition, follows Mafia enforcer Michael Sullivan, played by Tom Hanks, seeking justice for his wife and child who were murdered by his mentor's son, Connor, played by Daniel Craig. With the surviving son in tow, Sullivan works his way through the deadly crime syndicate to find Connor and make him pay. The journey is filled with treachery and devastation, but in the end, the parties who deserve it get theirs, even Sullivan whose son watches him pay the ultimate sacrifice for his life of violence. The Shawshank Redemption When the word redemption is in the title, you can probably be sure that things will turn around by the end of the movie, and the 40-year-old saga of Andy Dufresne's false imprisonment is no exception. While the man who actually committed the murders for which Andy is convicted is eventually imprisoned, he isn't the one who earns Andy's true wrath. Instead, it's Shawshank's Warden Norton, who has the opportunity to free Andy after evidence of his wrongful imprisonment comes to light. Instead of doing so, Norton punishes Andy further, 
all the while relying on Andy to cook his books so he can launder money under the name Randall Stevens. After Andy escapes to freedom, he adopts the Randall Stevens alias to siphon off the warden's ill-gotten loot and turns evidence of Norton's crimes over to the feds, leaving the warden no choice but to off himself in his own office. John Wick A grieving widower receives a strange present one day, an adorable little puppy, the final gift from his dead wife, and a chance for him to start over and appreciate life despite his loss. That's how 2014's John Wick, starring Keanu Reeves, starts out. It doesn't take long, however, for the son of a Russian mob boss to break into Wick's house, kill his puppy, and beat him to a pulp. Also, he can steal his car. Big mistake. Because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. That's when the viewers find out who John Wick really is. One of the most fearsome and effective hitmen to ever retire from the business. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. What follows is one of the best, most action-packed revenge movies in recent history, featuring Wick taking out the Russian mob piece by piece. When Wick finally catches up to the creep who killed his dog, he takes out his bodyguards with a sniper rifle, blows up his getaway cars, and shoots him in the guts, all before finally putting a bullet in his head while he's mid-sentence. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which revenge scenes are your favorite.